Add the heated resin tank to the RS Turbo in just a few minutes. Let's get cracking. All right, everybody, it is time to add the heated bed. We're also going to swap resins. Once again, friends, I do want to highlight the installation video super clear. So I'm just going to add it and I'm going to point you to that video. And that's the module installed. Once again, long pin there, connected and connected there. And then on the heated bed. And then don't forget, peel off. And of course, slide in and tighten just like before. Today, we're also going to switch to PAF-10 Volcanic Gray. Real quickly, if you have not seen my initial video, I will have a link up here. I do also want to highlight that there is a 10th anniversary summer sale up to 420 off. And if you use the coupon code HLMODTECH, it'll save you an extra 50 bucks. Really quickly, I want to highlight what we're playing with. If you hit 3D printers and the RS Turbo Combo. This is a glimpse of the full package. And this is the awesome heated resin tank. With that out of the way, let's bounce to Blueprint Studio. As you can see, I've already got my project started. Let me show you how we got there. Step one is to find the tutorial in the Help Center. You can start by clicking Reflex, and of course the Reflex RS, and then skip down here to where it has the heated pulsing bed. Of course, this is the part we attached a moment ago. These are the screws we released, and this is how easy it was to attach it. The video only takes three minutes, and you'll be good to go in no time. So now let's use the slicer to set up a 3D print. We're going to do a brand new project. We're going to use the RS Turbo. I do not have an add-on module. It is going to be a general purpose project. And then don't forget, we're using that PAF10 resin. As I scroll down, I'm going to choose 50 microns, and we can hit Apply. This is plate number one. Let's click to import our file. We're going to use my counting rings from 2022. I'm going to just bring in the STL like this. Now, what I love most about Blueprint Studio, yes, there are tons of features, but we can work by simply hitting one click slice. I'm going to call this ring and I'm going to hit start. It is going to auto send to the 3D printer once it's finished. I do need to approve send via the cloud. Notice it orients, spins, and adds supports just like that. This is what it looks like when it bounces out and goes to the slicing menu. And then you just need to wait a moment for it to get to the printer. Now we need to walk up there and start it. And let's get it started. Note it says 3 hours and 13 minutes. Let's see how long it really takes. Also, notice we have got heating in process. All right, so first things first, this was done in two hours. You can see it's only 11 a.m. And of course, I'm adding the voice afterwards because of the ventilation and the mask. Do note when working with resin, I have got gloves on and I'm also wearing the respirator. I'm going to quickly pop in the resin tray. Notice this fits like a glove and it gives us a place to put our part. I like to balance the plate just like this. And then we can scrape that off so it falls inside. Notice because of the angle, anything that's dripping off does fall in the tray, which is pretty handy. Now I did add that white adapter. That's going to be used for draining. Let me show you how to make that work. It only works when it's all the way up. So I'm just going to simply hit platform reset. I am trying to figure out where I got that file from. I believe it was Thingiverse, but I have not found the link. When I do find it, of course, I will add it to this video. Once it has reached the max, I simply slide it out and then the white part slides on. And now it's at an angle, which is better for cleaning. Of course, you can also just close the lid and let it drip a little bit as well. Now it's time to run it through the wash cycle. I already unsnapped it. We can dump the part in. Of course, we need to refasten all the clips and I will shut the air off and of course run through the menu and wash our parts. And let's grab that part and get it ready for curing, which is as easy as opening it up, placing it in, hitting the menu, and letting it go for 30 minutes. All right, everybody, this is the PAF-10. Sports peel off, super easy. Of course, you do have a little bit of waste, but that is pretty marginal, and 
this is something I wasn't really expecting. It actually is a little bit flexible. Absolutely love the detail on that print. It is interesting to note the difference in color between the PAF resin and the PAM10 resin. Uh, this is a project that I created a couple days ago. It was created by Tinkercad designer Crasher Ox, and I think it turned out pretty fantastic. If you are interested in making your own rings, I will let you know that is a Tinkercad project. It is a totally free web-based 3D design application. I'm gonna quickly show you how you can search designs. I am looking for my ring tutorial. It is right here. If you check out this design, of course, reactions are appreciated. If you wanna make your very own one, you can use the bit.ly tank ring. All right, so as I wrap up, I just want to remind you, if you're ever looking for help with the 3D printer, there is a lot of great information in Blueprint Studio. Of course, I do want to say once again, loving how easy it is to make resin prints with the RS Turbo. Friends, I do want to quickly say thank you to everybody that's supporting me via my YouTube memberships. Of course, three different levels of support and all support is appreciated. I also want to say thank you to everybody supporting me via Patreon. Love how that group is growing. Of course, you can learn more with the bit.ly up above or the link in the description. Finally, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget every time you hit that like button, share a video, add a comment down below, or click subscribe. You're helping HL Mod Tech get just a little bit bigger, which absolutely makes my day. Friends, have a glorious day and keep tinkering.